Hi guys, I'm Chantel and this is Intentional Homeschooling. It has been a while since I made a video. Um, we have been through a bit of a harder season and while we've been kind of like homeschooling in this season, I haven't had a lot of energy to put into sharing what we've been homeschooling about. Um, often when seasons are hard, you kind of need, you do the things that you need to do and then for my a little escape um, has been reading and so I've been sharing a lot of videos on my booktube channel um, but now I'm back um, I want to start getting back into sharing here regularly so what I thought I would just do is a little recap of some of the things we've been learning slash like what is working well in our homeschool so far this year and kind of some new things we're going to be trying so this year what I have been doing um, since the beginning of the year because I have been driving our little foster kids um, to visits quite a bit. Uh, my, I needed my older ones that were homeschooled to be more independent, so I've been creating a list for them. Um, this is not like a brilliant idea, not uh, my own idea, but I just create a list for the week where I have all the different things they need to do, and if they need to do it more than one time, then there's more than one circle. And then I've also been sharing um, a list of the things I want to do together because my daughter especially, she likes to know what's going on with the week and even if we're doing something together, she wants to know about it. Um, so this has been really good. This has given them a little bit of control over their week and there have been times where uh, they've left some things a little too late in the week and they're working their butts off on the last day of the week. But for the most part, they are trying to get a lot of their work done at the beginning of the week, which I'm totally fine with. If if that's how they want to organize their week, that's good with me. Uh, for the most part, I've said I'm available in the mornings to help you. Um, and then in the afternoons, I'm doing other things. So I want them to try to use their time wisely. And overall, this is going really well. Another thing that has been going really well uh, for my son is reading eggs. So I've heard about the program for a long time and I understood that it was learning to read um, and he knows how to read but just has needed more practice and that is where reading eggs has come in. I didn't realize you can use it for such a long period of time. I'm not sure what kind of like the cap age is but he has been using it. It has actually three different sections I think. There's like the regular reading eggs, there's one before it and then there's one after it and he's in the one after it. Um, that has been working really well. Um, and I like, while I like to sit down and read with him, I don't always have a ton of time to do that. So it gives him reading practice without me having to be there. Plus it's on a screen and he's an eight year old boy. So he loves any opportunity to use a screen. So uh, we did end up buying the subscription for a year. Originally I was going to, we got our one month free trial and I decided it wasn't worth the $120 or whatever it is a year. So I was gonna cancel it, but then they have the like, but wait and it was actually 50% off. They gave the option for 50% off and I was like, okay, it was not $120 worth it, but it's like $60 worth it. So we ended up getting a subscription for the year and um, he's been doing about three to four lessons a week doing on, on Reading X. Something that I started, I and mean, we've done multiple times in the past, but I've started being more consistent with um, this last couple weeks is getting my kids to do drawing. Um, neither of them I don't think would say they're very good at drawing, but I do believe that you get better with it, better at it with practice. So we have been using the creative drawing journal that I made where I just let them flip out, like flip throughout the pages and do any one they want. Here's one that my son made in September. It's nice to see that creativity come through here. Uh, this is the dancing drafts. <laughs> drafts. That's funny to see some of their spelling as well. Um, so there's, I think there's 50 different prompts that I made in here. And so they do a couple of those a week. But then in addition, what I've been getting them to do is my son, I'm getting to do some art hub videos. So he's been drawing all sorts of different pictures like this Yoda. Um, there's like a guy boxing. This is just a picture he did on his own, um, kind of inspired, I think, from all his Art Hub videos. What else has he done? A cute little puppy. 
Well, that was just his own thing as well. Yoshi. It's the guy lifting weights. So, I have seen a huge difference in his uh, fine motor because of drawing, and this is definitely something he needs practice with. So, I have found Art Hub to be great, and it's like a free YouTube channel, so that's always fun. And then my daughter, she has been doing the Draw So Cute videos. Um, I think it's only been in the last week, maybe two, that I've got her to do those. And it's been really good for her again. She gets stressed when she's doing it because it doesn't look the way she expects it to be turning out. Um, but I've tried to show her that if you just persevere, it looks great in the end. And she's got some adorable drawings. Um, really like that channel as well. Then we have been doing Khan Academy for math. And if you've been on here for any length of time, um, you might remember that we've, we've never really done a math curriculum before. We've never done a math curriculum. So we've been trying Khan Academy and I've been trying to stay consistent. I've been assigning them about two, well, about three math a day, not a week. The way it works out, my husband has every other Friday off. So those weeks we generally just do two, but if it's a five day week, we do three. Um, and then there's like different sections. So they get, have to do three different sections. And I think they're learning lots, but they're not enjoying it. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in some things we're going to be doing, I think a little different in the future. I think we might just put Khan Academy on pause for a little bit have some fun with math and then come back to it because I think they're learning a lot. Um, but there's also Khan Academy has this emphasis on pretty much getting 100% on everything and sometimes you just type something wrong and then all of a sudden your whole score for your quiz is off and that has led to a little bit of stress. Um, but to me 100% isn't what I'm going for. I just want them to be learning and it's working. I think they just need a little bit of a break because it's not the most fun. One thing we've been doing a lot of is Operation Ouch. This is a um, YouTube channel, so it's totally free. And they, it's pretty much just set up in an emergency room in the UK, in London. There, It's hosted by two doctors and they teach you all about all sorts of different things. There's videos on bones. We watched one on celiac disease and liver um, transplants and all sorts of things. They've, We haven't actually been studying anything in particular related to this, but they so enjoy watching Operation Ouch and learn so much um, that I usually let them watch a couple videos a week. One thing that we, I always try to do is weekly poetry tea time, and it has been going so well this season. Um, and usually if it's not going well, it's just because I forget or I haven't made a snack, and you don't need to make something wonderful for poetry tea time, but it, it just makes it such a fun experience. And this last week we totally upped our game and we wrote poems as well. And I found it to be so much fun. Um, I think we're probably gonna add in some writing of poetry weekly as well. So we kind of did that for like the 15 minutes before a poetry tea time. And then we read the poems and read some other poems as well. And just adding, a, so it's poetry tea time. We usually do like hot chocolate or sometimes tea. Um, or whatever and then some kind of little snack that we have around but that just makes it such a fun experience and the kids really like poetry because of it we do some silly poems we do some serious poems and i think i have decided that after requesting the sing a song of seasons book from the library a dozen times i'm finally going to bite the bullet and buy our own copy um so we're gonna get that probably in the next month and then add that to our poetry tea time poetry tea time as well um I've just slowly collected books for poetry tea time over the years. We pretty much add, I'd say probably about two books a year to our collection. Most of them are thrifted. So it, I haven't spent a whole lot of money in that. Okay, so that's kind of where things have been going lately. There's other things that are going all right, but we'll leave that for now. Um, some things that I want to change going forward. Like I said, I want to take a little bit of a break from Khan Academy. I think at least for the month of December, we are just going to play games, math games, and some of them I might make up myself um, just to make it fun. So in this last week, we've been playing games like Dutch Blitz, where I just make my kids keep track of the points. So there's a lot of adding and subtracting for that. Uh, we've played Sleeping Queens that has some addition, and I'm going to change the rules for Sleeping Queens. It's supposed to be addition equations and I'm going to do 
any kind of math equation, subtraction, multiplication, division, that's gonna be okay for me. Um, and then what else did we play? There was another one. Oh, we played Sushi Go um, as well. So th we're, there's those kind of games, but then I think I also just want to play some like random, I don't know, just normal deck of card games where you pick up like five or seven cards and try to do a math equation with the cards in your hand, something fun like that. And then just continue some of the more math games that we have, King Domino, that kind of thing. Um, and just have fun with math. And then I actually shared on Instagram um, looking for some fun math resources and people gave a ton of ideas, different apps and websites and um, pages to print off and different things. So I'm gonna go through that and um, kind of test some of those out on my own and then include those as well. And then I think I'm also going to add in the bedtime math books. Um, and we have another one called How Many Guinea Pigs Fit on an Airplane? and some of the Greg Tang books and just make math super fun. That is my plan for at least the next month, possibly into January, because January is often difficult. So you need some like fun games to make January less gloomy. And then in addition, so we have done a number of the research units and different unit studies that I've created that are up in my shop and I've liked it, but what I realize I personally like the most, and I think my kids do too, is making up a unit study as we go. So I think the unit studies that I've created are really good for families that like a little bit of structure, uh, a little bit more structure than we like, um, but we like to rabbit trail a lot more. And not that you can't rabbit trail with pre-made studies, but um, I should grab my papers. I gotta find them. Okay, so for the rest of this month, I've decided decided we're gonna study England. Um, I know it's December and we should probably do some Advent thing, but I just kind of thought about that a little too late. I always do. Um, so we might do some stuff, like we're doing some Christmas crafts and stuff like that. Um, but we're gonna study England for the next little bit. So what I have printed off here so far, I have a couple different copies. So um, I just printed off some pages that say United Kingdom and they can color it in and I'm thinking they can also like draw some pictures here yet. Uh, so we're going to figure out what is all included in the United Kingdom. So I've got a map here where we're going to um, color, I don't know, I guess draw some borders. So we're going to learn what is the United Kingdom, what is Great Britain, what is England, where is Wales, and draw different colors uh, for the borders. Um, and then we're going to um, mark a few different places that we know. When I was an au pair in England, I was um, pretty much down on the coast over here. And so we'll put a little um, mark there and label that. Lately, my daughter, <laughs> she's only 11, but she's been watching Ruby Granger, who is this 21-year-old college student from, university student from England and um, she's been going to school in Devon, this girl. So we've been watching her YouTube videos together. And so, you know, we'll, we'll mark that on there and different things we'll mark uh, like Stonehenge and some of the famous places. So we're gonna do that. And then I also, so we're gonna learn a little bit about the United Kingdom and then we're gonna buckle down and we're gonna learn about England. So once again, this is just like a cover page. I got Stonehenge, I got Big Ben and I don't have anything else printed I'm just going to let this take us where it may. So we're going to watch a bunch of videos. Uh, I went and I saved a bunch of YouTube videos um, that are about England. We've got different um, information videos about different points of interest. I've got different videos about different, like different walks that they have, um, Jurassic Coast, uh, different videos about like Bath, which is a really cool city and has a cool history and Stonehenge and then I was looking at like different animals that they have in England so we're gonna learn a little bit about hedgehogs and then I thought while well, we learn about hedgehogs then we'll also draw pictures of hedgehogs so currently this unit that we're gonna do has three pages England UK plus the map um, that I'm gonna give the kids to begin with but then I think each day I want them to create some kind of page. So either draw something or write something that they learned and then see what we come up with, see the unit that we make as we go. 
So I'm really excited about this because this is more what how my brain works. Like let's start with a topic and then just take it from there. But then if we can make, document it on paper, then I feel like it gives us something more to look back on. And it helps me when I'm doing my reporting at the end of the year and need to show pictures to the higher up people about what we've learned. So that is another reason I really like to document stuff. Um, yeah, so that is what we're going to be doing for the rest of the month, I think, is just learning about England slash the UK and doing math games and then also doing some kind of like Christmas stuff. Um, yeah, so it's kind of where things have been going. I feel like we are kind of in a minimalist school season. The last few months have just been minimalist so that we can do all the other things that I need to be doing. But now I want to be in a minimalist school state, but we're also having a rich learning environment and um, doing things together. Also, we have finally continued our audiobook. We started it months ago and then didn't listen to it for months. We are listening to The Wing Feather Tales, which is a collection of short stories about the world where the Wing Feather Saga takes place, and we're really enjoying it. There was a 12-minute ballad about two cousins who loved the same girl that was just hilarious. Um, we listened to that one recently and we're continuing on. I think we have like four hours left in the book. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. So I like those that the um, audiobook and also our unit is going to be bringing us more together. Whereas the way we had been doing it, they have been doing more independent work, which I think can be really good for seasons, but I really miss that coming together. Um, yeah. So there's a little update um, and I'm hoping to post videos pretty much weekly from now on with the exception over Christmas, I might take a bit of a break. Uh, let me know if there's something specific you want to see a video on and thanks so much for watching guys.